Last week, a judge in Franklin County issued a temporary block on three new laws that limit the governor's emergency powers. That means the governor's COVID-19 orders remain in effect. But Kentucky's House Speaker suggests there are conversations happening about whether the laws are actually blocked everywhere or just in Franklin County. LAX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek looked over the judge's order for answers. There's only one commander in chief and, and ultimately this has to be an executive driven response. That executive response to COVID-19 in Kentucky was on the line in court. But on Wednesday, Franklin Circuit Court Judge Philip Shepard issued this order granting temporary injunction and giving the governor the temporary relief he wanted. In it, the judge is clear. The executive orders related to COVID-19 shall remain in full force and effect pending a final judgment in this court. That means House Bill 1, Senate Bill 1, and Senate Bill 2 are temporarily blocked until this lawsuit between the governor and the legislature is resolved. The order didn't surprise House Speaker David Osborne. Obviously, it's, it's disappointing, but not surprising. Uh, I don't think any of us expected that bill or those bills to um, to sail through Franklin Circuit Court. But Osborne made it clear their legal team is not done yet. And he suggested there are conversations happening over whether the injunction only applies to Franklin County and nowhere else in Kentucky. There is an absolute argument to be made that those bills are in effect throughout the remainder of the Commonwealth with the exception of County. That would mean in Kentucky's 119 other counties, the new laws are in effect. So, for example, businesses and schools could open fully if they either met CDC or Kentucky's guidelines. And the governor's mask mandate would have expired. The governor's office quickly shut the speculation down, clarifying that this order is a statewide injunction. The order itself doesn't mention any specific counties it applies to. Instead, it says this temporary injunction shall be effective immediately upon its entry and shall be binding on all parties and all others acting in concert with them. In Frankfurt, Carolina Butchak, LX18 News.